Welcome hey. to Future Friday. We're here today to talk a little bit about laundry, right? Yeah, we are. We're gonna get our laundry soaps are sweaty. Get fun. into it. So before we get going, we have a couple announcements. So first of all, we will be giving away a vegan leather clutch today. So check it out. Ooh. It looks just like this. You can pick a color. So you know what yeah. to do. What, pink, black, and blue, I'm pretty sure? Yes, so. yes. We have a couple yeah. colors. You can pick whatever you want, and mm -hmm. they'll send that to you for free. So all you got to do is comment, like, share, you know, interact with us. Let us know what you think of our video today. And we like when you guys are part of us. Part exactly. Of the video. It's more you fun. Know, it's like a team effort here. It's great. <laughs> Um, so first thing we're going to ask you is, have you ever used essential oils with your laundry before? And if so, how? Maybe? Yeah. I mean, I think for a lot of people it's a new new terrain. Mm -hmm. Is that what? A frontier? New I don't know. New thing that I feel like people are getting more into now to use essential oils with their laundry because usually it's more topical or eternal, totally. like for health reasons and regular, but now we're like really growing it into lifestyle. Like I love it. Definitely. So, it's cool. <laughs> we're going to help you out. Um, so, uh, Jasmine, you used some of our products here today. I did. So, at Oil Life, we sell this 100% natural, biodegradable, um, actually, it has, let's see, non-toxic, hypoallergenic, which is awesome, because a lot of people are allergic to, um, what is this called? I laundry detergent? Laundry <laughs> detergent. I was going to call it a dryer ball. This, this is laundry detergent. Um, <laughs> And it's so it's 100% natural. It doesn't have any like odor sense to it or anything. It's just like pure white powder um, that we sell here at Oil Life. And you use, I'm pretty sure I used two tablespoons when I did it. Yeah. And this little scoop that comes with it is this not adorable, it's guys? Really cute. If you think this is as cute as I do, please comment because I, I I'm buying this partly because this. <laughs> you love like, this I just want this food. It's so cute. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, comment if you like this too. But this um, just 100% natural detergent is what I used yesterday. Um, so I got a lot of towels for my wedding that I had a few weeks ago. So I went ahead and put those to use because we literally have like a hundred and something towels. <laughs> so yesterday, oh those pictures are gross. Yeah, Prepare this yourselves. is kind of gross. Prepare yourselves. You guys, <laughs> look away. So I did this to my towels. and. Each towel is a different like texture. So this one is more of a t-shirty kind of texture. Um, like it's really breathable, like cottony. Um, these ones are a little bit more thicker and more towel feeling. One's softer than the other. It's just like a little more fluffier. And then the other one's more of a rag. So this one has barbecue sauce on it. And this one has ketchup on it. And then this one has a suspicious substance that was at the bottom of the fridge that I cleaned up. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I cleaned it. And this is what came up, so it was gross. Um, and then these are just like close-up pictures for you guys to just see. Ooh, Marvel at the grossness, guys. <laughs> it's disgusting. I was like wigging out when I was doing it. So I put two tablespoons into the tray of the washer. Um, so my washer, how it goes is that you take the tray out if you're doing powder. You can mix this with water to make a liquid if you want. So if you want to do water, the detergent, then your oils, mix it up and pour it in just like a liquid, you can totally do that. Or what I did was I took out the liquid tray and then just poured two um, tablespoons, which is just two scoops of this, um, into the tray. And then I dropped the oils in there. I did um, purifying blend and I did lavender. Um, it says to do three or four or three to five drops of each. I did three of each just to make it even. Um, and they still, they still smell like, like I can smell the lavender more than purifying, but it's just, awesome. they smell clean. Anyway, <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> so before I wash anything that's like extremely dirty, like these were, um, I usually rinse them out. I didn't do that though. Like I just poured the ketchup, poured the, the barbecue sauce all over the towels just because I wanted to see how powerful, um, these like the detergent was so I could give you guys just a really honest straight up review and if you I don't know if you can see so there's still a little bit of like the color I think this one could okay this one's the suspicious substance <laughs> um, <laughs> and you can still see a little bit of the color but that's because I didn't rinse it I 100% believe that if I would have put it on I put it on express wash because 
I didn't want to wait for like an hour to put on <laughs> whitest whites, which I usually do with white stuff. But I was in, I was just really excited to see how well this would work. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I think if I would have rinsed this, honestly, it would have came out totally fine, like 100% yeah. fine. Um, and then this is what this one looks like. And then the t-shirt one, which I have a lot of t-shirts in my wardrobe that are this cottony fabric. I mean, it, that one is, you can't even see it. Yeah. Was like, like where, where the heck is the barbecue sauce? I don't even know because <laughs> it's, it's clean. I realized I was holding it upside down. Like that, the detergent really works. It was awesome. Um, and again, I use lavender and purifying just cause I thought, I thought those would be best for just cleansing the clothes and right. making it just feel clean and stuff. So if you guys have used like, like I would like to know which oils you used for what, like what did you use for drying? What did you use for um, washing? Just to, cause I'm gonna totally buy me some of this and <laughs> use it. And I'm also buying my mom some too, because she, while I, I was yeah. washing my clothes at her house and she, <laughs> she, loved, she it. loved it. She really, especially loved the, the scoop. scoop. <laughs> I don't know what it is with my family and the scoop, but we love it. So yeah, that was, I don't know. That was my experience with it. Awesome. So, and we do sell that in three different sizes, which is awesome. So oh, if yeah. you want to try it out, you can get a little one like this. Or you can see we've got a bigger one right here. Is this five pounds? This is one that? is, ooh, I couldn't tell you. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But we do have three sizes, so check that out online. Um, you can get it online or in store, so that's awesome. Um, next thing we can talk about is, well, so you have one with some stains on it, right? You could have used yeah. borax. You know, you know that, right? That's so true. Okay, yeah. Borax is actually, you did the research on borax. I did. Tell I did some borax. research on borax, and... Um, Honestly, I didn't know much about it before, uh, but after kind of looking into it, seeing what it's all about, um, it is a great ingredient to have if you're looking to do like DIY um, laundry detergent or um, what is it? Uh, washing dishes, uh, dishwashing uh, dish, detergent, dish soap, right? Yeah. Um, so you can make all sorts of detergents. It's great for um, cleaning out. Um, Oh, okay. You know so what I'm about? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're talking, like tub. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I actually used. So I went and I I bought some borax. Um, we sell it at Oil Life. This yes, is what it do. looks like. Um, and I don't know if you guys have ever heard of. Um, it's called Comet. It's a cleaning powder that you just pour on like your bathtub, your sink. You can put it in the toilet. Really anywhere that has like that yellowy residue that you get when you aren't cleaning as often as you should, which is totally me, I should be cleaning <laughs> it's my bathroom more than I should. Um, but I went ahead and I used borax like I use Comet, and um, all I did was pour the borax on the bottom of my shower and like a kind of like, well, <laughs> spread it, I guess, spread it around to the edges of my shower too. And I left it on there for about, like it was like 20, 25 minutes. Um, and I did it this morning before work. So it was like pretty fast process. Left it for like 20, 25 minutes while I got ready. And then I went and I just poured hot water and scrubbed it off. Totally worked, guys. Wow. Totally works. That's like good. lifts up the stains of just those nasty stains that you get right. in the shower. Lift them up like super, super easy. Sorry we're getting like super personal. You guys yeah. are learning a lot of <laughs> Tons nasty things. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, so it should work the same on like laundry as well. It's, oh yeah. It supposedly gets out stains. So if you wanted to use it on your stains, this is a great thing to use. Or if you're wanting to make your own detergent, so really maybe you should do a DIY about that. Or pour something. some borax on here, mm -hmm. scrub it in a little bit, throw it in and use my detergent on top of it. And bam. Yeah. Stains are gone. 100% so. natural, all clean. Which is Sweet. great safe environment. <laughs> okay, last thing that we have up here, we have, well, we have two different things. Um, we have dryer balls. So they are awesome. So these are made out of wool, um, and we basically use these to um, put in your dryer, you put essential oils with them. Uh, so first of all, we want to know what experiences have you guys had with dryer balls? So tell us if you've used them, what you thought about them, what do you need to use like have? more oils, less oils? Like how, how do you use them? How is it personal to you kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. So we have two cute packages here. Um, this is the gift set. Yes. I love this. This So for me personally, I would love to get something like this from someone. But like my sister is super just like chic and she would love this. This comes with three and the gift set balls. So this are like little sack 
comes with four. Yeah. Um, this one comes with three, but they are bigger. Um, the three are a bit larger. I don't know if you can open that and then we'll see yeah. compare sizes. Yes. They're not like crazy huge, but they are bigger. I put lemon on this one. They're perfect yes, to throw right in and your dryer. Pump. Yeah, and so mm -hmm. um, it, it like shortens it. your drying time, um, and yeah. they're really awesome because they help make your clothes smell great. So, yep. and it's made out of wool. Yes, um, which is new because I've heard of people doing the yarn, but I guess yarn deteriorates faster in the dryer and um, doesn't hold oils as well. So I think the fact that it's wool makes it. I don't remember what someone was telling me that they're. The yarn that they used they bought it at like Joann's or something and it was like a weird weird name I don't know if I'm pretty sure it wasn't wool because she was like I need to buy these wool dryer balls like going on about them so yeah I don't know give it a try if you haven't already tried it if you have make sure to comment let us know how you used it because we really want to know and I want to know if it's something that I need to give it another try so yeah for sure um so uh let's see what else do we have to go over we um, first of all, borax is, um, it is, how do you say it? Don't use it on skin sensitive skin. It's not something you use on sensitive not skin. Not something you use on right? sensitive skin. Yeah. Sorry, I'm totally out so of it today, guys. So, does that make it, it's probably not hypoallergenic then. Yeah. Because usually that means that it's, like, you can't use it on your skin. So, I don't know, whenever I clean, I always use gloves, so... I use think gloves. Maybe when handling Borax, just like better safe than sorry, use gloves. You would use gloves if you were using Clorox or bleach, Definitely. so why would Borax be any different, you know? Yes. It does the same thing that they do. So, um, yeah, and I think also you can put oil in your Borax, right? I think so, yes. Yeah, so that's something that you guys can try too to make your detergent, because I call that a detergent. <laughs> You use it when you're cleaning. You can put some lemon in there. Make your house make it smell, smell super fresh. fresh. Yeah, Definitely. I love lemon. Lemon is my favorite smell. If it, lemon's your favorite smell, give us a thumbs up because I love when people have things in common with me. <laughs> so, so when you're including oils in all of your cleaning supplies, uh, your detergents, things like that, uh, some of the oils that maybe we recommend would be lavender, of course. You yeah, use lavender. Definitely lavender. Lemon, lemon is great just because it gives that. Oh, yes. Grapefruit's awesome. Citrus. Things I, I love when my house smells like citrus, like from cleaning. Uh, when I go to the store and buy cleaning detergent, I get the citrus smelling stuff because I just love how like fresh it smells. Yeah, I just feel like it, it makes it more clean, it's like energizing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I think using oils would like citrus oils would be an awesome touch because you do get that energizing benefit too. Definitely. So, and then there are a couple that have uh, cleansing properties, so we recommend you know clove, cinnamon, lemongrass, orange lemon, rosemary, eucalyptus. So if you want to try any of those out. Melaleuca too. Yes, and Melaleuca. So those are our suggestions when it comes to oils. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let us know if there are any other cleaning or household DIYs that you'd be interested in learning. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, and we'd be happy to help you out. If you have like a super special cleaning hack too, comment that guys. Because yes. I share, please. We'll read the comments <laughs> and <laughs> I Anything that helps help with oils and cleaning, like I love to know all of that. Definitely. So comment on like your favorite cleaning hack that has to do with essential oils and let me know so I can try it. <laughs> so we can try it. Sweet. Um, so I think that's all we have for you guys today. Yeah. Um, make sure if you guys remember, we do have our convention event on Facebook. Ooh. Yes. So go RSVP. Look at it. Check it out. We will have all of our updates, giveaways, all yeah. sorts of things on there. Have it. It's like what three weeks away now. Yes, I think it's 32 days. Oh 32. my gosh, 32 Countdown. days, guys, Today, until we get a party hardy at convention. Definitely, yeah. so come visit us and RSVP for our event now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, cool. All right, well, it was great seeing you guys, and thanks for watching our video. Thanks. We will see you guys next time. Bye.